I must begin with some extremely positive news in fact, some wow news because it is now quite evident where we are headed. At last, we learn that Iraq has fulfilled all the prerequisites to become a member of the World Trade Organization WDO. The RV is not imminent because of this, all of the previous events and actions are significant, and the RV is a byproduct of them rather than a standalone occurrence. The writing is on the wall, and the vista is now visible. There is so much on the wall that, short of a catastrophic event, I don't think anything will stop it. According to Intel Guru Mark Z, via PDK in terms of gold holdings, Iraq is the third largest Arab nation. Iraq now has 152 tons of gold in its control. Let us consider the valuations of other regional currencies, such as those of Kuwait and Jordan. In terms of resources, tangible gold, etc., Iraq is outperforming the majority of them. Iraq is arguing in favor of their increased worth. In order to sustain its currency, Iraq is also expanding their sources of income beyond oil. This is to provide stability and safety. Dr. Shivaibi consistently stated that he would offer them a more valued dinar if Iraq was secure and stable. Iraq is making great efforts to become one of the most secure and stable nations in the area, according to Intel guru Wolverine, via Judy Byingstone the process has unquestionably begun. It is anticipated to occur in the next days and unquestionably this month. According to Iraqi dinar newshound guru Pimpi, Kuwait and Iraq differ in that Saddam Hussein printed so much money that their currencies were greatly inflated. They had to add zeros to their currency, Kuwait did not. Iraq is not going to use these inflated dollars if they want to reach the 3.28 exchange rate. Before altering the exchange rate, they will first remove the zeros. That means that your 25,000 dinars will only be 25 dinars. When Americans go to exchange money, they now have a 25 note multiplied by 3.28, making your 25 note worth 82. Do they keep the zeros on there? Yes, there is a chance. It's possible that they lol take out the zeros, but anything is possible. According to newshound guru Pimpi, the Kuwaiti dinar has always been denominated in the same units. There is no change. You had quarter, half, one, five, ten, and twenty when Iraq invaded Kuwait. Kuwait has just changed the value of its currency after Iraq was driven out. They only altered the appearance of the banknotes, the nominal value of the dollars remained unchanged, zeros were never required to be removed. Their currency was reinstated rather than revalued, unlike Iraq's. There were no dollars that had been inflated. They just had banknotes that looked new. The end of it. Post one of two. Stay tuned for more information on Iraq's currency during its invasion of Kuwait, which used lower denominations and had a rate of 3.22, according to Iraqi dinar Intel guru Frank26. China made the decision to slightly increase the value of its currency at some point in the 1990s. Because of the frenzied speculation, the Chinese authorities decided to publish a full-page advertisement in their newspaper that made it plain that they were not working to increase the value of their currency. Point three days later, there was a little increase in the value of the Chinese yuan. Whoa! You would deny it, but why? 